Good morning, truckers. I'm Josh Jones. Seven new victims were found last night in the Grayson Cemetery. The newest slayings of the Clintonville slasher. Where? Wait. Hold on. It's just in. Uh, we have a video, apparently, of the Clintonville slasher. But um, I must warn you, viewer discretion is advised. It looks like we found his last victim. My name is Lurch Frankenwax, and I hide in the shadows of this small town. <laughs> and you, you're my latest victim. I am the Clintonville Slasher! Hello everybody and welcome back to the Clintonville Slasher. I am your host Lurch Frankenwax. Uh, happy Wednesday, middle of the week, it's hump day. So today I'm going to be talking about a film that's called uh, 30 Days a Night. It was released back in 2007. It stars Josh Harden. I'm going to murder this dude's name and I, I, I've seen him in a thousand films. But Harden, uh, Melissa George, Danny Hudson, Ben Foster, and Mark Boone Jr. Now, uh, this movie is amazing. This is probably, the, in my opinion, the best vampire movie that was ever shot. I love everything about this movie. Um, I saw this in the theaters, and I remember the build-up towards it. So a little rundown of the film is that you have a town in Alaska called Barrow. And at some point in the winter, Barrow gets dark for 30 days. So these vampires, they, what they do first is they send this uh, kind of stranger in, and he cuts off the town. He kills the sled dogs. He destroys the helicopter. He cuts off every way in and out of town before it gets dark for 30 days. And then when the vampires show up, it is a bloodbath. Um, the cinematography of this film, like when they're shooting an overhead shot of this um, of the town, it kind of reminds me of this old PC video game back in the 90s called Postal. I don't know if anybody's ever played that. I love this movie. I love the fact that they're speaking Slavic. They speak, they speak a uh, different language. I fucking love it. I think that's that's an ingenious idea. Is that it makes them look different. They're super fast. They're, it's almost like they're, like, it's a, like a survivalist vampire movie. Almost like it feels like a 30, 30 Days a Night feels like, um, kind of like Romero's, uh, Dawn of the Dead a little bit. I, I, I don't know, man. Like, it, it is, it is a really cool movie. Uh, it's very well acted, and I, director was David Slade. And, uh, it made... 75.5 million dollars in the box office um the only thing i never really liked about it when you first saw it was how fast that the cameras move at first and it, it it was supposed to be like the vampires move super fast but like it's really hard to see them at times so you know, after you watch it a couple of times it, it ends up being really really well shot really good directed movie i absolutely loved it um so if you've never seen it, I actually saw this on Pluto TV. Uh, it's, a, it's an app, a free app you can download for your phone. You guys should definitely check it out. Um, yeah, and if you've never seen this film, this is an amazing vampire movie. I mean, I, I can't say any more amazing things about this movie. So, check it out, 30 Days a Night. If you are new to the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, and if you tell your friends, tell your mom, stay horror, and check out 30 Days of Night. And I will see you on Friday. Uh, I hope everybody's having a great week. And uh, let me know your weekend plans. I'm actually planning on shooting the rest of our film on Saturday. So, drop a, drop a comment, and I will get back to you soon. Later days. subscribe follow us on Facebook Clintonville Slashers Club and on Instagram Frank and Hooker Band links will be in the description box below Slashers on loose Clintonville maybe next time I come for you
<laughs> You're gonna die, bitch! <laughs>